Aha! The record button, you can also see the red frame. And this is like an infinite picture. Oh, things are going the other way around. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Smiro and today I'm going to show you how the Monitor Plus app works if you're using a Sony camera. So I'm using like the Sony a7 III, which doesn't have a flippy screen. So I'm actually using my smartphone as the flippy screen, as the video monitor, and I'm using this app, which is free on one hand, but if you purchase it, you get all of the little perks that a professional video monitor is offering. So let me show you what I mean. Here you go. So this is now recording the video. I can set all of the settings over here, uh, even in the free version. So my, my shutter speed, I can just tap on it and it's going to change slowly but surely to 100 of a second. I'm going back to 50, 150th of a second, I can change my uh, aperture, so we have some kind of standard values over here, but I'm using it uh, 2.8 because that's the one I'm using right now. I can set my ISO, I have standard um, values for ISO, I can even change it like this on the fly and use auto ISO. White balance, I cannot change the white balance uh, as I'm recording, I can only change it before I actually start recording. So white balance is set, I can also change the, the, the autofocus function again only before I start recording and I can change the area. So th these are my default Sony um, or kind of my, my Sony functions for autofocus area, zone, you know, center, flexible and stuff like this. So I can change this during the recording. Now, what you get with the paid version is these features. So zebras, if it, you can check this out if everything's um, overexposed or underexposed. I have my level set to 90%, so everything with 90% plus minus five is going to be shown as zebras. Here, because I'm shooting with S-Log3, you know, there's nothing out of my dynamic range. I can use false colors to actually identify uh, which areas are hot and which areas are cold in terms of you know what's really bright and what's really dark, what's going to be blown out or not. So I never actually used um, this function. I can use the frame, so I have different framings over here. I can also, if I, if I hold on the button on the bottom, I actually get um, some additional features. And also for this, for instance, so for my false colors, well, smoothing and not smoothing. Um, so I have focus peaking as well. So this is very useful. So the background is now in focus, but now um, the smartphone is going to come back to focus. Ha, focus peaking. So if you're using manual focus, if you're focus pulling, this is very handy. So every professional monitor actually has this, which is really awesome. And also if I just you know, tap, tap the window down, tap my phone, everything just kind of disappears. So here I can change the size and the opacity of my waveform. I don't really use this uh, that much. I have my LUT display. So this is now the S-Log display and this is the LUT display. It's actually default. So I didn't load any LUTs onto my smartphone. It just figures out that it's S-Log3 and it just gives me kind of the lookup table or the true color representation. So I'm using this to actually see how this works. And I have like the multi-monitor. So I have the view here, my parade in as a um, histogram, my parade as in, in waveform and a vector scope right over here. So to check the colors, that's really important, especially if you're using the color checker to kind of fine tune the white balance and stuff like this. This could be very handy. And you have some additional features, which I've disabled because I just don't use them. So the cool thing about this is, that I have the red button over here, which means that I know that I'm actually recording the video. And I have this red frame, just like on a Panasonic camera with the firmware update 2.4, you get this kind of frame around. Now I'm used to Panasonic cameras. For those of you guys who follow me on the channel know that I was shooting all of my videos on the Lumix G9, which kind of broke down. So I'm selling it uh, very cheap. I, I haven't actually put it out to, to sell because, you know, sentimental value. The way you can connect the app and the camera together is via wireless or with a cable. Now, if you're using a Sony a7 III, you actually need to use only the USB cable. The wireless connection doesn't work. So basically you just plug in USB-C to the camera and the USB-C to the, to the smartphone and then just recognize or just, you know, enable find camera feature in the, you know, the app finds the camera as long as it's, it's connected. And they're also charging each other, which I don't know in which way. Is the camera charging the phone or the other way around? Not really sure. And that's it, you know, just basically plug and play, you know? So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you found this interesting. The little guy over there being bored is my six-year-old kid. <laughs> which I need to take the soccer practice. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.